Matthew chapter 20, verse 30, the Bible says, And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside, when they heard that Jesus passed by, cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thy son of David. In verse 31, And the multitude rebuked them. <laughs> they would never try to stop you from praising your God. And the multitude rebuked these blind men because they should hold their peace. But the Bible says, but they cried the more. Oh, somebody said the more. The more. In other words, instead of being quiet, they got even louder. They cried out the more. They were rebuking them, telling them that they ought to shut up. But there's a season in your life that you came to realize that you just can't stop my praise. Hallelujah. The Bible says, but they cried the more, saying, have mercy on us, O Lord, thy son of David. See, I want you to bear in mind that they were blind. Mm, hallelujah. There's a season in your life that you need some things. And I want to let you know that all you got to do in this season that we're in is go into a realm of thanksgiving. I'm this is a season of a realm of thanksgiving. It's a season because I understand that I want to see, but not even for that right now. I'm just going to go into a realm of blessing here. Uh, I'm going to go into a realm, a realm, a realm, a realm of praising the Lord before I even think about asking him for anything. Oh my God, oh my God. So here they began to rebuke the blind man and sometimes people will get aggravated with your praise. They will get that you're still talking about this God that gave you promises and they're saying it hasn't manifested itself but you want to let them know keep your eyes on me and watch it because it shall surely come to pass. Oh, yeah. oh. And see, the enemy, we use books to cause you to doubt that you were blind and God said you're going to see and I, I know that maybe you wasn't blind but you got some issues and I want to let you know that love they told him to shut up they told him to shut up they told him to shut up but listen they got Jesus attention I want to tell you that praise will get Jesus attention before you put your order in before you put your order in before you ask for the houses and the lands and the new cars and the new shoes, I want to tell you, just begin to thank him and praise him. And I want to let you know whatever your issue is, he's going to bring you out. There is a power in your praise. And then that's what we're talking about, unstoppable praise. It's a, it's a type of thing that you're praising God, not because you want not because somebody is forcing you to lift up your hands. Thank you, Lord. Not because they told you to leap. But I want to let you know that sometimes praise comes out through the tears. Sometimes it doesn't come out in the dance, but it begins to come out in the tears. Somebody is looking at you saying, Why are you sad? And you're like, You got it wrong. Real, real, real glad. You're misinterpreting my tears. These tears are not 
goodness of God. I began to think about all the things that God has done for me. And then the tears came. It was tears of gladness. Unstoppable. It was a type of praise that had me to be grateful for where he brought me from. Anybody ever took a stroll down memory lane? And when you think about how he dipped you up out the door, when you think about that you was a wretch undone, anybody ever just thought about you may not be what you want to be, but thank God you're not what you used to be. Praise me when you don't even 
see it happen yet. And I give you my word that if you get this unstoppable praise, I'm going to then ask you what you want, even though I already know the answer. But I'm going to ask you what you want. And I tell you that when, oh my God, when they got Jesus' attention, the Bible declares that the blind men were made to see. Why? Because praise makes a difference. I want to let you know that if you praise God in your blind state, then you're about to see. If you praise God in your weak state, you're about to get strong. If you praise God when you're broke, you're about to get rich. I want to let you know that praise is powerful. Praise. You praise Him with the authority in your body. You're about to get healed. If you praise Him when you don't even understand the storm that God has allowed you to get in, then I want to let you know you're about to come out. I feel victory in the house. Then in 2 Samuel chapter 12, read it when you get home, but it talks to us about King David. King David had a child with Bathsheba. The Bible declares that God had already told David that that child was not going to live. Because that was a consequence of David and Bathsheba's sin. Yes. See, God will forgive you, but the consequence of things you still uh, have to pay. Watch this, y'all. Yes. The Bible said that that child was seven days old. Yes. And that child died. And before that child died, the Bible said that David began to fast and to pray to consecrate himself he asked god to heal that child but guess what the child still died the people that was around david they said they was afraid to come and tell him that his son died yes. they were afraid of what david was going to do they were afraid that david may have just lost it but but when they came in david said to them is it my child is dead and the bible said that david got up off of his position and he went and he worshiped his God and the people didn't understand how can you worship God in a situation like this. David was letting him know just because God didn't heal my child he is still a healer. David was letting them know just because God didn't answer my prayer he is still God. He is still omnipresent. He is still worthy of my worship. He is still worthy and the people did not In 